Hey everyone, today, we've got some mind-blowing news from the world of astronomy that's going to challenge everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. Welcome to Trendstorm. A research team led by astronomers at Penn State has just combined cutting-edge X-ray observations with advanced supercomputer simulations to create the most comprehensive model yet of how supermassive black holes grow over cosmic history. This groundbreaking work spans an incredible 12 billion years, from the early universe at around 1.8 billion years old to the present day, 13.8 billion years old. The team's findings are detailed in two papers, one published in the Astrophysical Journal and another upcoming. These results were also presented at the 244th meeting of the American Astronomical Society. So, what did they discover? Supermassive black holes, which sit at the centers of galaxies and can be millions to billions of times the mass of our Sun, grow primarily through two main processes, accretion and mergers. Accretion is when a black hole consumes cold gas from its host galaxy, radiating X-rays in the process. Mergers happen when galaxies collide, and their central black holes merge to form an even more massive black hole. Fan Zhou, a graduate student at Penn State and the lead author of the papers, explained that tracking black hole growth has been a long-standing challenge for astronomers. To tackle this, the team used data from over 20 years of X-ray sky surveys from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, the European Space Agency's XMM Newton, and the Max Planck Institute's E. Rosita telescope. They measured the accretion-driven growth in a sample of 1.3 million galaxies containing over 8,000 rapidly growing black holes. The data showed that at all points in cosmic history, more massive galaxies grew their black holes faster through accretion. This level of detail allowed the researchers to quantify this phenomenon better than ever before. To understand growth by mergers, the team used Illustris TNG a set of supercomputer simulations that model galaxy formation and evolution from shortly after the Big Bang to the present day. By combining the observed growth through accretion with the simulated growth through mergers, the researchers created the most realistic picture yet of how supermassive black holes have grown over time. The study found that accretion has been the dominant growth method for most supermassive black holes, with mergers making significant contributions, especially in the last 5 billion years. Interestingly, supermassive black holes grew much more rapidly when the universe was younger, and the total number of these black holes was almost fixed by 7 billion years ago. As an example, the research suggests that the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, which has a mass of 4 million solar masses, likely grew relatively late in cosmic time. This work was a collaborative effort with contributions from researchers at Penn State, the University of Michigan, Nanjing University, the Max Planck Institute, the University of Science and Technology of China, and the University of Groningen. The study was funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation, the Chandra X-ray Center, and Penn State, with additional support from the sharing of illustrious TNG simulation results. Sources, Penn State. Thanks for watching. If you found this video as fascinating as we did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the latest discoveries in astronomy and beyond. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time.